All right, guys, I'm hooked up. Um, it was supposed to rain today. I think it's still gonna rain late this evening. Uh, got kind of a short window of sunshine. I found a place down in, uh, it's called the Texas City Dyke. I guess that's Texas City. It's down toward Galveston. Uh, there's a couple little spots through there, so I uh, wanted to check that out. It's about 45 minutes away, so uh, we're headed out. So stay tuned. Texas City Dyke and a uh, cool place. Looks very promising. Well, it looks very promising. I think the wind is going to cooperate. Um, pull over here and look at the shore line. Oh wow, I could drop in right there if I wanted to. It's like uh, a lot of shells or concrete, debris. I may not go here. The other side might be a little more protected. I'm not sure if it matters which side I launch on. I'm gonna investigate a little bit. Well guys, um, Looks like a promising spot. I think I'm going to just uh, launch on the beach. There's a lot of people out here fishing. Not seeing a lot of action, but they're here for a reason. Chops a little too strong on this side, and there's no launch on that side. I'm gonna launch here and try to make my way around. It's a little choppier than I thought. A lot choppier than I anticipated. Kind of rough. Kind of scary, actually. All right, guys. Uh, a little more than I bargained for today. <laughs> I was up for a little adventure, but not like this. This water, the camera's not doing it justice. It's really, uh, it's kind of hairy on the kayak. I'm going to say at, at times it's like two footers with big rollers, so I am going to head back in best I can safely. I'm going to call it. I may not be the best fisherman out there, but I plan on living a long time, right? So I don't know what the wind sounds like. Hopefully it's not too bad. If it is, I apologize.
But uh, I'm, in, I'm at the Texas City Dyke. What I was told earlier, it was uh, that this is a, it's five miles long. They said it's one of the mo one of the longest man-made piers in the world. They consider it a pier. But on one side, it's got like a beach area you can drive on, and on the other side, it's a rock jetty. It's really calm on the other side. I just there's no place to put my kayak in. That's why I was trying to get to it. I was trying to launch over here. And I came all the way to the tip. Ooh, ooh, big waves. I came all the way to the tip thinking I could just like launch and run around the tip, but that was a bad idea. That's if you ever plan to do that, you're in a kayak, don't. But these waves are fierce. But anyway, so the bona fide is really stable. Like I said, my confidence level is not built, built up a lot. But it's me, it's not the kayak. And we're at Texas City Dyke. I'm rambling because I'm kind of nervous. I'm probably 100 yards from a safe zone. I'm trying to get there, but there's a boat coming out. I'm scared to death. He's going to swamp me. I wish you could see these waves. Like I can. You know, guys. There are some days that I'm just like, why did I even get in a kayak? But you know, there's other days where I really can't imagine fishing any other way. Most of the time, it's pretty peaceful. Uh, today, not one of those days that I'm ready to get off the water. I'm over it at the moment. I, I give up probably gonna walk over to the jetty when I get loaded back up and uh, try it out so I kind of see why the boat launch is like that now oh god jeez, it's not a good spot to be so this is the last boat launch on the uh, I guess it would be the east side or south side of the pier I gotta look at a map I'm not quite sure <laughs> don't bring a kayak on this side this is a bad idea I'm not one of those that goes to the beach when it's rough water trying to get through it I'm not really it's just not my thing kind of a peaceful fisherman <laughs> come on baby almost there little misadventure if you're from Texas and you're from Houston and 
and you're a kayak fisherman, I would much appreciate some pointers. Leave them down in the comments below. Just tell me a better place to go. Tell me somewhere where I can fairly easy launch. I mean, I can dip it in or I can drag it. You know, I can roll it. I got wheels. Uh, I got a kayak cart on my rig here. So if you know somewhere, please feel free to share. I'm feeling kind of beat down today. Man, that water, it wasn't too bad when I first got in it, but it's like the closer to that point, the wind picked up. All right. I'm back. Peace out, guys. Thanks.